So how do you tick off a whole industry? You do this video. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to tell you this right now. You know, I have had offers to work for uh, SEO companies. I have uh, actually consulted with some very large companies, not SEO companies, but actual companies, marketing online. I have worked with hundreds of business owners uh, throughout this country and a few others, and literally worked with thousands of individuals to help them build a brand and, man and uh, you know manage their own businesses online. And I'm just a normal guy here in the Pacific Northwest where it's starting to get cold and the kids are starting to wake up. <laughs> here I am in my office. Um, <clears throat> you know, let's kind of dive into this real quick because this isn't going to be too long. I, I just really want you to understand a few things. And if you want, if you're here on YouTube, you can click on, go to the website, you can check out... Uh, um, you know, this little piece right here, uh, you know, SEO, what is it really about? Is it really about building backlinks or is it about building value? You know, that's pretty much what it comes down to. And as we, uh, as we see here, <clears throat> the way that the algorithms have changed over the last two years, first Panda, then Penguin, and all the little updates in between. As a matter of fact, uh, towards the tail end of September and August of 2012, there was major changes. Some of this had to do with domain names and things like that, where people were trying to buy these long, pop keyworded domain names, and a lot of those things fell. But some of us here, who had more brandable names, who were backed by content, um, actually started you know, getting pushed up in the search engines, if we could at all, um, <laughs> if we weren't already up there. Um, there was a couple of mine that got uh, pushed way to the top of the search engines, which I really, really appreciated. Uh, thank you, Google. Um, but, you know, I really put effort into it. You know, today SEO isn't about creating backlinks. It's really, really not. As a matter of fact, backlinks were demoted even last April, April 2012. Um, you know, and then it got really hit come August of 2012. And the thing is, is that, you know, a lot of SEO companies will create some stuff, some basic pages and things like that, just sell stuff and start firing away backlinks at it, like bam, 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 bam. And the thing is, is that this used to be a great way to sit there and crawl up the search engines really fast for certain, certain keyworded terms and tags and things like that. It used to work just fine. Today, you can't do that. It's just... It's, 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 it's a dead practice. Today, the new backlinks, before we get into the whole value part, the whole backlink structure today isn't just high PR sites. Yes, you can still use them, and yes, some do still, it does work, but only so much, only so much. Today, that has to do with a lot about the uh, social signals. That's what it is, social media. Everything's hitting social online. It's just the way it is. You know, blogs. Blogs are actually the largest social media platform on the planet. So is uh, YouTube uh, and Facebook. As a matter of fact, in that order. You would think Facebook was first, but it's not. Um, but that's the way it is. You know, today the, the major backlinks are, are, are social signals. How do people engage with your content? How are you engaging with them engaging in your content? And how are you engaging elsewhere online? All of these things are a gauge to your popularity and the pages and the posts and the, the content that's created. This is where value comes in. A lot of the time, SEO companies really did not create a whole bunch of value. Yeah, there's a little sales copy here and there. Yeah, there's a little bit on a, on a page here and there. But there really wasn't updated content, you know, continually some that says, you know, every week they, they create a piece of content that talks about a different aspect of the product and the service or talks about, you know, whatever it is that has to do with that subject. Um, you know, today we're actually being forced to do that. If you look at all the different search engine algorithms and updates of those algorithms and of the algorithm changes and everything, you start seeing that we're being forced to create this content, to create value. See, Google doesn't look at your products or your service as a value. It really, really doesn't. It's not buying your service. It's not buying your product. It's not joining your opportunity. It's not doing any of that stuff. What it's trying to do, basically, is give people, the end user, some value. And that value is information. You know, they say we live in the information age. So an SEO a specialist should understand that Information is what you use to market. <laughs> Somebody can throw links at something all day long, and you can throw the link back at me, and I'm not really going to care about a link. What I'm going to care about is that if I click on that link and I see nothing but crap, I'm out. I'm later. <laughs> I want information. 
We are so much more informed today. Um, before we purchase anything, before we join anything, before we jump into an opportunity or subscribe to a list, we're much more informed. And the thing is, is that backlinks don't inform. Mm -mm. Content informs. Content creates the value, that value for me to say, you know what, I trust this piece of content, I trust the person writing this, I'm going to go ahead and learn some more about this, or I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to get it, it's right here anyways, boom. That's value. This is what content is all about. This is what social signals are all about. And I trust that my friends say, hey, check out this link right here, click on the link, check out the piece of content, <laughs> check out the product, look at it. And I see that it has, you know, quite a few paragraphs, it's got some video, it's got some images, it's, it's really full of, of, wow, this is actually a pretty cool piece of software, this is a great service, or this is a great product, or, you know what, this is an interesting opportunity, I think I will check out some more about it. But the thing is that it, the, the value backed it up, it wasn't a link that my friends gave me to all of a sudden, bam, you know, buy now, blah, blah, blah. It was actually value. It was information of why, <laughs> why I clicked on that link in the first place and what I should do about it now. It's making me engage. So, you know, does SEO, you know, you know, the whole value thing, you know, I think old SEO is dead. I, I really, really do believe that. I see that all the time and we hear that sometimes out here online, but you gotta understand that the way SEO was, even six months ago, uh, a lot of those practices are gone today. I, I've talked to you know good friends of mine who work for large SEO companies and, and they're stating the same thing. They are seeing that as we go along, value and content are on the rise in little things like backlink and firing is, is starting to fade away. That's just the way it is. So as a, just in between me and you, the regular entrepreneur online, let's create some information. Let's dominate the search engines together with it and literally build a brand and manage a successful business. I've been doing this for going on four years pretty soon. And I absolutely love it and it can be done, period. Forget the SEO for now. Optimize for people. Optimize for people because they're the ones, they're the ones that would join your opportunity purchase your products or your services, visit your store on Main Street, or whatever it is that you want them to do. But give them a reason and give them value, period. Anyways, thank you guys very much. No matter what, God bless.